Joey Logano is facing serious allegations of cheating after his impressive performance at the Nashville Super Speedway race. The win secured him a spot in the 2024 playoffs, but questions are swirling about the legality of his victory. Fans are clamoring for more information and demanding an investigation into the number 22 car. This isn't the first time Logano has been under scrutiny. Earlier this year, he was implicated in the cheating glove scandal. Now, with another controversy on the horizon, many are wondering if his team has found a new way to bend the rules. So, is he once again at the center of controversy? Joey Logano managed to stretch his gasoline over 110 laps, including five overtime periods, which totaled 31 laps. This strategy paid off. After his victory, Logano, a two-time champion, found himself in the playoffs with a chance to claim a third series championship. The start of Logano's 2024 season didn't promise this outcome. When a yellow flag was issued with one of the race's 300 laps left, Logano was in a similar position as many other top 10 drivers. The yellow flag triggered a series of overtimes as drivers made their final stop for gasoline. Several teams had prepared for one or two overtime periods, but no cup race had ever lasted more than three. Top contenders like Denny Hamlin, Kyle Larson, Martin Truex Jr., and Chase Briscoe fell out of contention, either running out of gas or having to pit for fuel. Logano, however, kept going. Logano's team faced a tough decision. They could go for the win, risking running out of gasoline and losing many points. Alternatively, they could pit, secure fuel, and aim for a finish in the top 15. Logano reflected on this, saying that it was a huge risk. Yeah, I mean, that's the risk that was, I mean, just to me, a ginormous risk because you're taking, I mean, you pit and you go back out and you maybe could finish in the top 15 versus going for the win, but you can finish 35th. Makes it a pretty hard call, but I mean, when you're winning the race, how do you, how do you not? Uh, especially when you see the, the other cars that were up there, right? Chase Briscoe, he wins. That's, that wouldn't have been good uh, for, for our playoff hopes. It would have been good for Ford, but that would have been it. You know, so there was, you know, I think the 23 was somewhat close up there as well. So just, you know, when you think about who we were racing against, uh, we, we needed to make sure that we were able to, you know, at least stay on the strategies the same as they were. Now, with the playoffs ahead, Logano has a chance to add another championship to his record. In the recent race, Joey Logano and his team faced a critical challenge to maintain their strategy against tough competitors. Logano's crew chief, Paul Wolf, employed a tight strategy, evident from Logano driving the final lap with a blinking fuel light and occasional engine sputtering. Throughout the race, Logano managed 110 laps, including 69 under green flag conditions and 51 under caution, which significantly influenced their approach. During caution laps, where fuel consumption is similar to about one regular lap for every three caution laps, Logano effectively managed to stretch his fuel usage. Combining 69 green flag laps with the equivalent of 17 laps saved from caution periods, Logano covered a total of 86 laps on his fuel. The predicted fuel window for the race was approximately 80 laps. Despite the tight margins, Logano's ability to conserve fuel by shutting down his engine during cautions was crucial to his success. For Logano and his team, the focus wasn't just on finishing the race, it was about winning. According to Wolf, the mindset was clear. They needed a victory to secure their playoff berth. Obviously a much needed win. Um, it's been a tough season for us. I feel like we've gotten better. We've had more speed and the short track stuff's been really good. We were kind of disappointed we didn't get one of those wins. Obviously our teammates did, which is great. So it's nice to be able to, to check it off the list and get that win. Yeah, even if we weren't the best car tonight, we still won. That's really all that matters. Joey Logano's recent victory sparked controversy and speculation among fans regarding the legality of his fuel usage. After crossing the finish line first in a close battle with Tyler Reddick and Zane Smith, Logano performed a celebratory burnout that caught the attention of NASCAR enthusiasts. Many fans took to social media, questioning whether Logano's car had enough fuel to perform such a maneuver after a race that was marked by strategic fuel management. Paul Wolf acknowledged the risky decision to push their fuel strategy to the limit during the race, despite signs indicating they might run out of fuel on the final lap. Wolf felt it was a gamble worth taking given the circumstances. This gamble paid off handsomely, 
as Logano secured his first win of the season, showcasing both his driving skill and the team's strategic acumen under pressure. However, the celebration was overshadowed by fan reactions calling for NASCAR to inspect Logano's fuel tank. Social media buzzed with comments alleging foul play and urging NASCAR officials to investigate the fuel levels in Logano's car. Comments range from outright accusations of cheating to demands for a thorough inspection of Logano's fuel tank. Fans expressed disbelief that Logano could have legitimately conserved enough fuel to perform a celebratory burnout given the team's earlier struggles with fuel management during the race. The controversy highlighted the intense scrutiny and passion among NASCAR fans, who closely follow every detail of race performances and demand transparency in competition. In response to the speculation, NASCAR officials typically conduct post-race inspections to ensure compliance with rules and regulations. These inspections are designed to maintain fairness and uphold the integrity of the sport. While fans may voice their opinions and concerns, the final determination rests with NASCAR's technical inspectors, who evaluate each car's compliance with fuel and other performance regulations. Joey Logano's victory not only added another chapter to his racing career, but also ignited a debate about the fine margins of strategy and compliance in NASCAR. Some fans online were questioning if everything was on the up and up with his fuel levels, but Joey himself addressed it right after the race explaining how they managed to pull off the win in such a dramatic race. Um, it actually stumbled off a of turn through or off a of two down the back stretch and um, the light came on and I came off a of four feeling like all right I'm in a good spot and then it started spitting sputtering across the line and they're obviously uh, coming at me on both sides um, so pretty uh, nerve-wracking. Uh, I mean five eight, I'm looking at the scoreboard we had 30 extra laps which is just bonkers and you know I thought we had it won the, the caution before that but um, definitely took the whole team to make this one happen. Uh, when asked about completing 110 laps on a single tank of gas, Logano was candid. How do you go 110 laps here on one tank of fuel? Uh, like I said, it takes a, a little bit of everything, right? I think that's that's really what it was. Um, you know, there's obviously a lot of cautions within that that period, right? There's a lot of cautions. So, you know, like I said, we didn't feel comfortable about it, but you go for it, and it's it's pretty risky when you think about where we. Uh, we're in the playoff grid. Yeah, you really can't afford to have a bad one, but gosh, it's really hard to pit when you're in a lead and you're in position to win the race. So yeah, you just go for it and cross your fingers, say a couple prayers and, and work that all right. Despite the chaos and uncertainty, Logano and his team stuck to their strategy and pushed through five overtime periods, nearly running out of fuel along the way. In the end, their persistence paid off with a victory, securing Logano's spot in this year's Cup Series playoffs. For Logano, this win was unlike any other in his career. He highlighted the importance of the team's effort and the thrill of keeping Team Penske's winning streak alive across various racing series. Well, that's it for today's episode. Now, whatever your thoughts are, just write them down right now. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more content.